Hi, this is Adele Berman with School of WordPress. I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on a fat cow server within a minute. Just go ahead and go to the control panel. Here you are going to enter your username and your password. Log in. Now go over to WordPress. Click on install a brand new version. And here you want to make sure you keep the latest stable version. Where you install WordPress matters, depending on how many domains you have, you can choose from those. I prefer without W's. And in this case, I am going to install it in a subfolder. But if you don't want to install in a subfolder and want people to see the website when they go to your domain, then go ahead and leave that. And there are some advanced options. You don't have to touch anything else, but if you want, you can click on this button where you can define a name for the site. And you can also choose to either generate a random administrator username password by checking this, or enter your own password. I do recommend using a generated password, which is more secure, typically. And leave this box checked so that the database can be built and WordPress can be installed properly. Then here you have some plugins and themes that are bundled, typically, on install. We can leave those and take them out later. Make sure you check that you've read the terms and conditions and click complete. It usually takes about a minute for Fat Cow to install WordPress on their server. Um, it definitely beats having to install it manually, which is not too difficult either, but right here all you have to do is sit down and relax. Once WordPress is installed, you will be able to see that it works in the front end and in the back end where you can install, uh, where you can log in. But for now, we just have to be a little bit patient while the fat cow servers do their magic. When installing WordPress on a fat cow server, I actually recommend using a caching plugin because their processors tend to be a little bit slow, as you can see here, making the WordPress experience uh, a little bit slower for the users and administrators alike. Uh, with a caching plugin, you'll be able to uh, speed that up by uh, foregoing the need to use the processors altogether. And I'll create another lesson on that. almost there. There we go. So this is the password that was generated automatically. It's a very secure password. Make sure you save that. And we can click this link here to log in for the first time. So as you can see, we it lies under the domain and then the subfolder. Just log in here. All right, WordPress is installed. We have logged in. We can start editing our website, or we can click here to view the front end of the website and make sure that the public-facing side of it is working properly. This was Adal with School of WordPress, and thank you for watching.